everybody. Okay, we're going to make a Harry Potter inspired soap this afternoon. In about 10 minutes, it'll be finished. Because I'm gonna shut shop, well, shut shop. I'm gonna leave this place in about 10 minutes. It's 10 to five, so I don't wanna be here too long. Okay, so I'm going to make the one chooses the wizard, which is a line from Harry Potter where Harry goes to choose his wand at Ollivander's. It's one of my favorite scenes in the whole of all the movies. It's just something about the shop that I just love. And I was watching it last week because it's on TV all the time. And that scene came along and I've got my phone by my side sitting at home. And I've got this app and it's called Colour Note. I, you won't be able to see this because I'm too far away, but it's like a little um, yellow square with note written across. So it's like having post-it notes, but on your phone. So on mine, I've got like tons and tons of lists that I make. Um, I've got workouts in here, my eye prescription, my um, high fat meals, high carb meals. I've got all kinds of inspiration things, it, um, recipes for food. <laughs> And then at the very bottom, I've got one called Blend Names. So in Blend Names is all the names that I think of that I might have watched a film and something might come into my head or whatever I'm watching, whatever documentary, whatever, comes into my head. So I write down a name and then I think of a scent to go with it. So well, last week I put the one chooses the wizard and it's in here. So I wanted it to smell like, um, like old wood, obviously, because of the shop and sort of like a foresty smell so i've chosen an amber and a fragrance that is supposed to smell just like wood so i think the two combined might smell really really nice well i've mixed it already I, it does smell really really nice so that's what i'm going to be using and the sort of color scheme in the film is like olivandas is very brown and greyish sort of colour so I'm going to be using some new micas from a company called The Soapery here in the UK. I buy a lot of my base ingredients from them like so shea butter, cocoa butter, things like that. So they do a really nice golden brown mica so I'm going to use this. The last good brown mica I had was from Nurture and this is almost exactly the same as their bronze brown but I use mica momma a lot as you know but the darkest shade of brown that I've tried from them just doesn't cut it. I need this this dark so I'm going to mix that dark brown well it's called golden brown but it's quite dark but I'm going to mix it with some more uh, black sparkle which is here so it's just a black mica and probably a smidge of cocoa powder as well so the amber fragrance I'm using does discolor but not to a deep dark brown so it will give like a tan shade so I want to go as dark as I can but not black so that's what I'm going to do so like a deep dark grayish brown and it'll be all one colour and then on the top I'm just wondering whether to do like a splatter with some gold mica in a pipette with some oil like a mica in oil sort of splatter I might do that on the top because that's always pretty effective but I'll make up my mind at the end because that bit can just be done at the end if I want to decide to do it but there's something about like a plain bar with a nice textured top that I really really like so I might just do that so we'll see let's move on and mix up the base. The base. Okay, I've just stick blended to a light emulsification. So what I'm going to do, I've just actually decided that I'm going to use a little bit of each colour. So a little bit of the brown and a little bit of the black and I'm going to reserve some for the top and just sort of splatter that over the top rather than using a gold. We might even use some of the gold as well. Who knows? So I'm just going to pour that off first. This is very, very lightly emulsified. I don't want to take it too far. And I also forgot to mention that I'm going to be putting in a little bit of coffee. So we'll reserve these things here for the top. I'm just going to pop them to the back. So I'm going to start now by adding in my colours to this big pot. So I'm going to use my golden brown. I'm going to do two scoops to start. And then two scoops of black. And 
my coffee grounds that I have from earlier just a few I don't want too much because I don't want to be super scratchy because that's not ever nice and then I'm going to add my fragrance blend here so if I need to take this darker I can just add a little bit more of those micas if I need to you won't be able to see what I'm doing because this pot is way too big this is my uh, 19 litre pot again so you cannot see so I should chop this bit out and then you'll see the colour when I pour it okay okay so it's quite um, dark as you'll see when it goes in but that's fine because it will probably be the perfect shade which it is that's exactly it so like if you go and have a look at Ollivander's wand shop there's probably that clip on YouTube I'd imagine just tap it in and you'll see what I mean by this colour So nice, easy soap to make today because it's all one colour and I did 50% water discount and I'm soaping a bit hotter than usual as well so ooh, a little bit stressed but not really because I was just able to pour it in. So you can see it's quite thick already. And it's almost 10 past 5, so it's taken me 20 minutes actually to sort this out today. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the supermarket afterwards. It's just down here. We've got a waitress just out the back. And I'm going to get a bottle of wine for this evening because Matt's going out skating. And I'm thinking, hmm, me and the dog then are going to watch the new Shane Dawson instalment. So I think he's putting that up tonight. So hopefully I'll be able to watch that at home. I'm also watching Mindhunter season two now, which is really, really good. Oh my God, it's really good. That uh, Charles Manson actor, just unbelievable. Like this is some clever, clever, clever casting, isn't it? I love it. It's so good. I love, I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just, Stir up my mic is here. Let's move that out for a second. So you can see what I'm doing. So this is the black. And this is the brown. I want them to be that fluid. Now I'm thinking I'm going to do that thing with the pipette and the mica, the gold mica, and I'm going to do it sort of in between pouring these bits. So let's get it mixed. Let's get it mixed, get a pipette, a bit of that gold, so this is actually Golden Shimmer from Mica Mama I think, it's a really nice colour. I'm going to use a smidge of olive oil in there, so we can mix that in. Like so. Didn't need too much, so just a little bit. And I'll just mess a bit on the top because I think it will look pretty cool. Pretty cute. So, anyone else watching the Shane Dawson thing? It's been pretty good. I've enjoyed listening to uh, Jeffrey go on about everything. It's great. I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> What a crazy old life they live, don't they? But it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Okay, so. I think I'm gonna need to stick them those a bit more. Or like, sort of. Globules of color rather than fluid. You know? So, 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 the sides are coming down here. Just 
take those back down a sec so it's going to get on my nerves. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly pour. You see that's thick under there, it's starting to raise itself, which is kind of cool. So as you see, that's pretty black in contrast. And then I'm going to use some of my oil, my mica, and do this. So it looks pretty magical. Then take the brown and go over and do the same. So you're going to get a nice contrast and some of that mica will squish and change and go where it wants to. A little bit more. God, I can feel the heat coming off of there. Okay. Let's finish it up. To get some down the sides because there's not much down there. It will shrink back down again. I don't know if you can see that that's raised itself up from where you are. Probably can't, but it's like, because it's saponifying underneath. It's sort of expanding itself like it does, and then it will shrink back down as it cools and we'll be ready to cut tomorrow. Okay, so there's those. Let's just do a bit more of the brown. Lisa's here Hi. again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to finish with a splatter. Looks like magic. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, excuse my shaky hands. I'm just filming this um, by hand. Um, when I made this soap, that evening, Matt fell and broke his hip on a vert ramp at the skate park where he goes to on Fridays. So for the last couple of weeks, we have had an absolute nightmare. He's getting better, but I couldn't come in the next day and film the cut of this soap. So I just wanted to come in and show you what it looks like. Above there, there's the cut bar. Um, sorry, the bar stood up but um yeah this is the wand chooses the wizard and i just needed to show you what it came out like because i couldn't film the cut the next day i had to go to the hospital <laughs> um i'll be back shortly with an update video on how that went down and the trials and tribulations we have had since so i will be back shortly ta-ta the wand chooses the wizard mr potter it's not always clear why I think it is clear that we can expect great things from you.